If you could double the sales of your next t-shirt or your branded fanny pack, brother, just by changing the wording of your promos and marketing messages about them, would you? I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. Here on my channel, I make videos for fellow professional wrestlers at every single stage of their careers. And if you are passionate about the craft of professional wrestling, and you're never done learning all about it, you've landed in the exact right place, my friend. Join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe down below and enable notifications while you're at it. Today, I want to break open some of the theory of loss aversion. And its basic tenet is this. It says that people are twice as likely to act in the interest of not missing out or not losing an opportunity as they are to act in the interest of a benefit or gain. They are twice as likely. In other words, the fear of missing out is twice as powerful as the allure of inclusion. And this is relevant to psychology, it is relevant to ethics, and loss aversion theory is relevant to marketing. Loss aversion really can motivate people to buy, to subscribe, or to otherwise engage so that they don't miss out on something. We've all heard of FOMO, the fear of missing out. When a product is scarce, or there is little time to take advantage of an opportunity, the likelihood you could miss out increases dramatically. And remember, people are twice as likely to act in the interest of not missing out, of not losing out on an opportunity. So marketing messages that state or imply that the supply is scarce or that time is running out are optimized with the idea of loss aversion already in mind. Today, I want to go over three examples of verbiage you can use in your marketing messages when you launch your next limited edition t-shirt or when you're selling the premium tickets to your upcoming wrestling event. And these are crafted with both the scarcity principle and the notion of loss aversion in mind. Example number one has scarcity marketing baked right into it. Get this new limited run baby accountant t-shirt while it lasts because once it's gone, it's gone forever. The idea that an item disappears from the market is much stronger marketing than this could sell out. It implies that the choice to ever get it is vanishing. Phrases like, once it's gone, it's gone forever, and limited run speak to this precisely. My second example could be part of a larger marketing campaign that heightens the scarcity as it progresses. This just in, only 48 tickets remain for next Saturday's return to the Hamburg Fieldhouse. Providing constant updates on dwindling supply will encourage those that don't want to miss out to buy now. This countdown of inventory speaks directly to FOMO, the fear of missing out, as potential consumers can watch the supply diminish with each new message in the countdown campaign. And my third example ramps up the urgency dramatically by limiting the window in which the consumer can buy. My last fanny pack sold out completely in less than a week, so you know this one's gonna go even faster. Don't miss out. Get your order in today. This implies limited availability there will only be a short window in which to act, so it's got an element of urgency coupled with the scarcity principle. The idea that an item will appear and then disappear from the market quickly adds urgency to the need to buy now. If they wait until next week, they could miss out. Many of the most powerful brands on earth rely on the scarcity principle and the theory of loss aversion to help them craft successful marketing campaigns. And you can put these basic tenets to work for you too. There's a reason why you will see the kind of verbiage we just covered in those three examples in all types of advertising, especially online advertising. 
And similarly, there's a really good reason why marketing consultants are paid big bucks to bake exactly that type of verbiage into marketing messages. Because it works. People are twice as likely to act in the interest of not missing out or losing out on an opportunity. Why? Why? It's human nature. And understanding these ideas will empower you to work smarter, not harder. If printing your first batch of t-shirts is next on your to-do list, then click on the video appearing over here right now so you can keep on learning. Or if you want to add more of my best weapons to your arsenal, break open Toolbox, Building Better Pro Wrestling. Amazon.com has it as an ebook and as a paperback, or over on Audible, I'll read you the audiobook myself.